Hi peeps! Chaos Waste is so much fun to play, and Grudge Marks just adds a new layer of excitement to them. For those who aren't familiar with it, Chaos Waste is a roguelike game mode for Vermintide 2, where you run through a few increasingly difficult missions, upgrading your gear and grabbing boons that make you stronger along the way. Grudge Mark monsters are special monsters that have names and attributes. These attributes make them stronger than your run-of-the-mill monsters, which are already terrifying by themselves. What makes Chaos Waste such an interesting mode to play is the random nature of builds as a result of random boons and weapons. The majority of the boons you'll get during a run come from sacrificing coins you pick up for a random boon at a seer's altar. These boons can dramatically affect your build, thus encouraging you to play with varying playstyles each time you play Chaos Waste. Even the way you upgrade weapons encourages experimentation with different playstyles. The cheapest option to get a stronger weapon is to just exchange it for a new random weapon. Upgrading your current weapon costs twice as many coins, which you could put towards more boons instead. There's an argument here for if you're already halfway through a run and have a build that just wouldn't work as well with a different weapon, but anyways. Back to Grudge Marks. Grudge Mark monsters bring a whole new layer of fun to Chaos Waste because they take the excitement of randomization and applies it to the monsters. Missions already have some randomization with two randomized attributes applied to the mission and a chance for it to be cursed by a Chaos God. Grudge Marks pushes this randomization even further by giving monsters randomized attributes as well. Grudge Mark monsters can spawn from Chests of Trials, which lets you pick one boon from a choice of three, and in the final arena of a run. They keep us on our toes and force us to pay attention to them, because if we aren't careful, they can end us in moments. Sounds like so it. perfect. Oh, oh, he's actually go crazy. Yeah, go crazy. Bomb. Yeah, there we go. Ow, he knocked me down. Jesus. Yeah, it's crazy. Are you okay? Yeah. He's the fester, thirst cursed. Hey, it rhymes with rice. And nice. <laughs> Rhyming away. Oh my god, he got me. I got too busy. Oh my goodness. Shoot. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. I died. And you died. What? It's over. We were so close. No! A grudged mark monster can have between 0 to 3 attributes, depending on what difficulty you're playing and how far into the run you are. Every grudged mark monster is tougher than its regular counterpart, and it can have a cool name, like Dreadburn Mind Stitch. Some of the attributes are more mundane, like Dreadburn's regenerating attribute, that lets him heal up over time. Others are a lot more interesting, like Illusionist, which lets the monster create three shadow clones of itself every 30 seconds. Individually, they're pretty weak, but together they make quite the nightmare. What? You're down, dwarf's down, we're all dead. Uh... That was fast. The crazy part is when these attributes start working in harmony with each other. The monsters can get downright terrifying. It can get overwhelming if you end up with a bad combination, like I did with Terror Claw the Stampede. This Minotaur, which is one of the toughest monsters already, had Relentless, Invincible, and Regenerating. What this meant was that every now and then, we just couldn't hurt it. It would heal itself back up during that time, and we couldn't even knock it back to get a breather from its Relentless attacks. Not to mention that the mission was also cursed by Nurgle, so we couldn't leave the vicinity of the Purifying Torch, or we would take damage over time. It doesn't help, like he can sometimes turn invincible, and then he can regenerate too, it's rigged! No, and then we have to do in the poison. I think God, I, I can't do this. Oh no, I'm down, died. I'm down. Frick. This is so pissing. That was, this is the worst. Fat Shark probably needs to do some balancing here. That being said, these intense fights have been some of the most interesting and fun battles I've ever had. With some luck and perseverance, we managed to push through and beat a three attribute grudged marked monster and complete our first champion difficulty chaos waste run. He's invincible right now. Shoot. Block and blocking. At least he doesn't regenerate. Oh god. At least that, yeah. Shoot, I have to get rid of the plagues. Be right back. Wait, what? The elf is dead? Hold on, I'm reviving the elf. Just stand a second. Okay. I'm blocking. I'm like, don't worry, I'm blocking. Yeah, you're good, you're crazy good. Shoot, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh my goodness, we're alive. 
Beating Gormal the Cruel, a crazy strong Minotaur, was probably the most emotionally rewarding fight we've ever had since we started playing Vermintide 2. I'm really happy that Fat Shark added such an interesting mechanic to the game, and I'm looking forward to what they do next. Thanks for watching, peeps! Remember to like and subscribe! See you See next, you next time. time! Bye! Bye.